And today we're going to be drawing a lion monkey. Yeah, it's Friday today. Are you excited? Yeah. We had an awesome week of art. We hope you guys had fun drawing with us. Today we're going to be drawing an awesome golden lion monkey. And that's because the, Ch the Chinese New Year is this coming Monday. Yeah. yeah, we're also going to be announcing the winners to our art contest, so be sure to get your entries in. Do you, do you know what the Chinese, this Chinese New Year is about? Red monkeys. Yes, red monkeys. And so we thought it'd be fun because the lion monkey looks kind of red. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So we hope you guys are going to follow along with us. You have something to draw with and some paper in front of you. If you go too fast, what can they do? Pause the video. Yeah, you guys can pause the video. Ready to start? Yeah. Okay, first step, we're going to draw our monkey's eyes. And we're going to draw him looking off to the left, and he's going to be kind of up in the top left corner, and his tail is going to be hanging down here, and he's going to have a branch that he's sitting on. Cool. Okay. And we're going to draw him kind of realistic, so this might be a more advanced for some of our art friends. Okay. So here we go. We're going to draw a little circle right here. We don't want to draw it too big, so we don't want him to have giant eyes, <laughs> even though he does have pretty big eyes. Okay. And we're going to color it in, except for a little shine, shiny reflection. Cool. Now we're going to go around and we're going to draw an eye around it. Good. He's going to be looking at us. <laughs> He's going to be looking down at us. <laughs> okay. Now we're going to draw another circle over here and we can do Whoa. the same thing. Color it in. Oh, I know. That's just the... This is going to be his other eye. And then we're going to draw another circle around that. For the white of his eye. He is going to be looking at us. Might be a funny looking monkey. <laughs> <laughs> I hope he's going to look realistic. <laughs> okay, now we're going to draw his nose. So it's going to come down. Got a little curve coming down off his eye. And we're going to draw his little nostrils. So we're going to draw one slanted, kind of oval like that. And another slanted oval going back up. Almost makes a V shape. <laughs> like, yeah, that looks funny. <laughs> Nostrils always look funny. <laughs> okay, now we're going to draw his chin and it's going to come down and it's also going to be with his, his we're going to draw his mouth in there too. So we're going to draw a big U shape, comes down like this and then back up. <laughs> Alright, okay, let's put his lips in there. So we're going to draw a, he's going to kind of be smiling like that. That looks so weird. <laughs> look, looks like a monkey. Alright, and then we're going to draw the, his uh, face and it's going to come up and over like this yeah, to a point right in between his eyes. <laughs> Then we're going to draw this part that comes down over here and then back into that U shape. Starting to look like a monkey, huh? Yeah. All right, good. Okay, so we got his, we're going to put uh, some, maybe some eyelids over his eyes. Then we can also do a little wrinkle under this eye and under the other eye. Good job. Awesome. He looks really cool. Okay, now lion monkeys. Do you know why they look? Why they're called lion monkeys? Because they have like a a mane. mane. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they have a big mane around their head, and it makes them look like a lion. So we're gonna come up here, and we're gonna do a zigzag. So watch me first. So we're gonna come. We're gonna do this zigzag, and we can kind of uh, mix up the zigzags so they're not all the same. But we're going to give him a big mane. So all of the zigzags point up and go around this way. And then right here, we're going to start doing the zigzags down this way. See how they're pointing down? Mm -hmm. Oh, he looks so awesome. So I'm going to make some of the zigzags long and some of them short. And then I'm going to connect it up to there. Good. Keep going. Oh, that looks so awesome. Nice job. Okay, now, now we're going to draw some of the texture 
in the hair. So I'm going to do a S line from the cheek and I'm not going to connect it all the way to the zigzag, but I'm just going to create some S lines like this. And some of them can be short and some long. And this makes it look like his mane has a lot of hair, huh? Yeah. Okay, now we can draw his first arm. So we're gonna draw two, or let's draw one line first, comes out from the bottom of his, his mane, and then we're gonna do a little zigzag right here, and it comes close to the, line, the first line we drew. There we go, and then this is where his wrist is gonna be, and then we're gonna draw his hand, and or a little monkey hand, so he's got long fingers like oh, that's that. freaky. <laughs> he's got a long finger, and then we're gonna turn this now over here and draw his thumb on this side. There we go, good job. And then we can connect his arm into his thumb. Now we're gonna draw his other fingers. So let's draw another one right next to that one. And draw one more. And then the last one we're gonna draw, it's gonna be really kind of small because it's his pinky over there. Awesome. Okay, now let's draw his other hand right next to it. So we're going to draw another line that comes down out of his mane. Good. Now we're going to come over here and I'm just going to put a little point. And this is where his wrist is going to be. And we're going to come back and draw that later. So let's draw his, his fingers. So we'll draw his thumb first. And it should look like his other thumb. Okay, we're gonna draw his first finger, second finger, third, and fourth. And the fourth finger hopefully kind of connects where that point was. Good job, that's awesome. Okay, we're done with his, his front two hands. Now we're gonna draw his back leg and it's gonna be right next to this one. So let's actually start right here and we're gonna draw the thumb on his foot. You know how like monkeys have hands on their feet? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so he's got his thumb <laughs> on his back foot. And then we're gonna do the same thing that we did here and uh, draw the rest of the fingers. So we'll draw the first, second, third, and fourth finger. Awesome, did you get it? Yeah. Okay, now we're gonna draw his leg and it's gonna be coming up, it's bent. So we're gonna curl up this way and into the mane. Then we're gonna draw the back part of his leg, it's bent over here. He's a frog. <laughs> yeah, he looks like a frog. <laughs> and then we're gonna draw the back part of his leg and we can draw a zigzag so it looks like he's hairy or furry. Chipmunk. <laughs> okay, now let's draw this the rest of this arm right here that we didn't draw yet, and it's going to come into where his leg is. Good job. All right, now let's draw his belly. We can draw some zigzags for his belly. Oh, he's looking cool. All right, now let's draw his back, and we're going to draw this line. It comes up here. It's going to come down, and we can make a couple zigzags on there, too, if we want. Good. Now, what's he missing? His tail. Yeah, he's missing his tail. So we're going to come out from his leg right here, and we can do some more zigzags if we want, just little ones. And we're going to come all the way down, around, and it's going to curl up right here. Okay, now let's draw the other side of his tail. So this one's gonna come down, I can draw some more zigzags. And as it gets towards the bottom, we're gonna get thicker. Do you see how his tail's getting a little wider? And come down and we'll leave it like that. Oh, I like how you turn the paper. Yeah, no, that's cool. <laughs> Good job. Oh yeah, you're making the zigzags go the other direction. That's good.
I like it. Okay, like now it. let's finish the end of his tail. So we're just gonna make some longer zigzags like this so it looks bushier. Yes, good job. All right, what's our monkey sitting on? A branch. A branch. So let's draw a wobbly line that starts on the edge of the paper, comes right where his wrist is. Good. Then we're going to pick up, so we're going to imagine that line going through his arm or behind his arm. Start right here and keep drawing it. And we're going to keep going back here. Good. And then we're going to come behind this leg and behind his tail and off the paper. Good. Now let's draw the other side of the branch. Come down here, draw a wobbly line. All the way, we'll go behind his tail and then off the paper. Okay, so your monkey and my monkey, they're kind of he's kind of floating over the, the branch. Yeah. So let's come down here. We can make another zigzag under his belly so that it looks like he's sitting on the branch. There we go. And that makes his body even a little thicker and you could even put some over here. Nice job, that looks really cool. Okay, let's do one more thing in the background. Let's add some big leaves. So I'm gonna add a really big leaf right here, like that, so it's like a football shape, a line down the middle, and then some lines off to the side. And I'm gonna do another one right here. All right, good job, Chuckers. We added in a bunch more leaves. Our art friends can do the same thing. And you can add those leaves wherever you want. You could fill the whole paper. Yeah. We're gonna leave it just like this, but let's pick out the colors and we'll come back. Okay. We're gonna be using black, dark brown, light brown, a red, orange, and yellow. We're using Prismacolor colored pencils, but if our art friends don't have these, if they have Crayola or a different brand, That'll work too. Mm -hmm. You ready to start? Yeah. Okay, first step, we're gonna use our light yellow and we're just gonna put a really light uh, layer on top of his face. Okay, now we're gonna put a light layer on the front part of his mane. We don't wanna go over the whole mane, just the inside. So we wanna get lighter as it goes towards the outside of his mane. Good job. Now we're gonna take a V shape right between or the top of his forehead and we're gonna color in a lot more solid, so a lot darker. And we're gonna do another layer around his whole head right close to it that's gonna be dark too. So just along the edge of the outside of his face. Okay, right, now we're gonna come down here with the yellow and we're gonna do another layer of light yellow on his hands and his foot, just like this. It can be kind of a light layer. And then we're also going to blend it up his leg and arm. So we're gonna come all up this way and get lighter and lighter as we get towards his knee. And then the same with his arms. Okay, now we're gonna come down here and we're gonna do the same thing with this tail. We're gonna start really dark on the tip of the tail. And then as we get up to his body, right up here, we're gonna get lighter and lighter. Good job. Okay, now we're gonna switch to our light brown. And we're gonna do this because we're gonna work on his face for a little bit. So we're gonna do a light layer over all that yellow except where that little V was. So we can put a line where that V was at the top of his head. And then let's do a light layer over his whole face. Now we're gonna add the shading to his face. And that just means that we're gonna darken in some of the spots that um, where the shadow would be. So we can do under his lip and under his chin and then under his eyes and his nose.
Good job. Okay, now we're gonna get our yellow again and we're gonna smooth out the blending on our monkey's face. Good, okay, now we're ready for the next color and we're gonna use orange and we're gonna work on his mane some more. So we're gonna come around and we wanna put a layer of orange all the way around his mane and blend it into that yellow. Good job, okay, now let's get our yellow again and we're gonna just blend the yellow into the orange. We don't wanna go all the way across the orange just the part where the yellow is blending into it. All right, now let's get our red and we're gonna do another, we're gonna do a layer of red around the whole mane and doesn't it looking like fire? Yeah. Yeah, it looks awesome. So we're gonna go around. We don't wanna cover up all the orange. We just wanna start blending the orange into the red. Now we're gonna go back to our orange and put another layer of orange over where we were blending the red in to smooth the red into that orange. I think it's like a purple red. Yeah, it is kind of purplish. Now we're going to get our dark brown and we're gonna do the last layer on our uh, mane, on the mane of our monkey. And just the edge of his mane, we're gonna do a layer of this dark brown. So the very edge should be this dark, dark brown. Chuckers, that was a lot of fun, huh? Yeah. So that's how we blend from the yellow to the orange to the red and then to the dark brown. We're gonna do those same steps, but we're gonna fast forward it and we're gonna do it for his front arms, okay? Yeah. All right, let's do it right, right now. now. Okay, now I'm gonna repeat those same steps on his back leg and also his tail. Okay, now that we got his legs, his tail, and his front legs, or front arms, uh, colored in, we're gonna color the rest of his body, and we're gonna first, we're gonna do it with this dark brown, okay? And we're just gonna fill it in nice and solid. And then I'm going back over the dark brown with the red to blend it and make the brown have more of a red tint to it. <laughs> Good job. He looks really cool. Okay, now we're going to fast forward again, but we're going to finish the background. So we're going to color in the branch and also the green leaves, okay? Okay. Dude, good job. Okay, now the last step. We're going to take our black and we're going to add a little more shading to his body. Okay. And we just want to add this black where um, there's a lot of dark. So where the light won't shine because there's a shadow. So if the light's coming down this way, there'll be a lot of shadow under his mane and kind of where his body like folds, like his arms overlap in his body. Is that cool? Mm -hmm. This just adds a little more shading and makes it look more 3D. Good job, Chuckers, man. He looks amazing. This is my new favorite drawing yeah. that we've ever done. Yeah, it's awesome. <laughs> he looks like he's on fire. I love it. And I, I'm not sure this is the right monkey for the Chinese New Year, but he looks red to me, doesn't he? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, we hope you guys had a lot of fun drawing your monkeys with us. And it's okay that your monkeys look different than ours too, because the most important thing is to have fun. Yeah, to have fun. We hope you guys had an amazing time, and we'll see you later. Goodbye, our Bye, friends. friends. <laughs> Sounds like you're a singing monkey. <laughs>